I mean, we started off during the financial crisis, so it wasn't a really good time to found a business. Or you always take everything home with you, right? So um, there are so many things that can go wrong, and, and there are definitely sleepless nights where it just keeps you awake. I mean, I guess everybody has a lot of stress in his life. It's not nothing special for founders. But it's funny with Lee Ferrando, I always was 100% sure that this is going to work out. You have to differentiate because failing in the first three months of a startup is completely different from failing after eight and a half years of my muesli. The pressure increased, of course, because now people bought homes, they have to repay loans and everything, mortgages. So um, now I feel a lot more responsible together with my two co-founders for, for a lot of people in the company. On the other hand, you have um, very fulfilling moments. And it, you just have to kind of manage to keep the balance between those two and... Um... You have to understand that it's all about enjoying the ride because you don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. And at the end of the day, um, yes, you have a lot of pressure, um, there's a lot of stress, but if you just see other people who've done it before or other people who are in a similar situation, then in the end uh, it gets a lot easier to deal with it, I guess. But for the first months, we didn't see any risk at all because when we finished university other people were taking motorcycle trips through Africa and we said well we're gonna found a muesli startup so what's the risk if we fail and um, there wasn't much debt involved because uh, we obviously we didn't need too much money to, to build a business that way and Hubertus programmed the website all by himself so we only needed about roughly three and a half thousand euros so I think and um, until we had the first employees that do rely on the job there wasn't too much risk involved. Um, I mean, for someone it's sports, for someone it's meditation, for other guys they just need to work and that's it. I try to spend time with my friends, my boyfriend, my family. I do yoga, which actually helped me a lot. And personally, I'm a sports guy, so I do a lot of sports. <laughs> and even if there's uh, high pressure times and you work a lot, I also try to work out at least twice a week. Um, I try to stay active in general. Hard work. Hard work and get a <laughs> massage now and then to relax, to relax from this great pressure. My friends and my family are the most important parts to keep me balanced and to see them. There is hardly a limit between work and private life. Be socializing, it's always good. Um, having a beer. In my off time, which is rare, uh, speak about something different. Yeah, you definitely need some need to take some times off in order to regain your creativity, your, your creative potential. It's not like you can work seven hours, uh, seven days a week, uh, 16 hours a day, but uh, it's nothing, it's not a sustainable lifestyle. And, and um, the best thing is to have a good team, I think. The most important thing is that you shouldn't be frustrated with the outcome because at the end of the day, it's, everything is probably positive because you learned a lot and maybe you'll have a second chance to start with another idea and that idea maybe will be more successful than the first one.